So, hi beautifuls and beloveds. Yeah, a little behind the scenes. Whatever. But that's... I don't know. We're so casual here. Uh, how are you? I hope everything is uh, good for you. I have some promotional plugs to do, so hold on a second. Let me get everything up and rolling and running here. I can't see what I'm promoting. What is all this? Okay. Uh, here's beautiful Noelle Rose. You know her. Dun, dun, dun. Isn't she adorable? So she's my my dolly namesake. As you know, how I used to wear my hair. I still do. It's just getting long, right? Um, the pigtails, my red ribbon story, right? And uh, I used to wear my hair like this in ballet class a, a lot. And then I'm like, all right, I'll put it up in a bun. I went to a uh, another facility in school, and they're like, you must wear a bun. And I said, hey, you know what? I look pretty good like that. I wore it in a bun when I was a little girl, and too little, you know, little German girl. I I'm German, French, all of it. So <laughs> I had a lot of different hairstyles going on there when I was a kid. So um, <clears throat> I didn't know how I'd look <coughs> being an adult with, you know, the severe bun hairstyle. So when you see me in a bun, it's because I was doing some kind of dance workout, stretching something. It just makes me feel more in character. So uh, that's why I do that. And then I do my videos. Raw, real, uncensored, and sweaty. Um, stay on here. So this was uh, made to encourage little boys and not, not uh, boys, little girls. I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> what is she thinking? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Really, I, I was really tired yesterday and I'm real groggy today because I overslept. This is to encourage little girls. I don't know what, I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, uh, that if a little girl, me, this is a symbol of a mature adult woman having grown up and survived. So if there was another little girl, me, who survived being sexually abused, that she too can take comfort in it and, um, you know, just have the red ribbons as a reminder of overcoming. Now in the story, the fanciful story, uh, this is book one, I think. Yeah, it's book one, red ribbons. You, you see the similarities and we'll get to this, right? No doubt, right? Not an not a hard thing to figure out. Um, but in the book, she overcomes evil with her red ribbons. Now, please, parents, don't let your children think if they tie red ribbons on their door, they can keep the boogeyman or any bad or evil away. That's the exact thing that caused the problem in my family. You know, the little bowed red ribbons, about this size, actually, uh, fastened to my training pants and a Catholic pat patron saint dangling from it, supposedly to protect my virginity. It didn't work, obviously. Um, so don't don't teach your kids that. This is a symbol, and that's as far as it goes. But she dances with red ribbons, you know, kind of how I do, and uh, she has magical powers because she's she's sharing her love joy with the red ribbons and how she dances, and that's kind of what I do as well. Um, Obviously, it's in a different fashion because we want this child friendly and we did a really good job. And I'm saying we because I, I wrote it together because, you know, I'm legally blind and it's just really challenging. So I just adapted and um, to get them done quickly, I had somebody else take my very old, old story and my old um, outlines and uh, we call them treatments. And we... We made a whole bunch of these books, seven to date, but there's more in the works. As soon as we handle all this copyright and, you know, trademark and theft and all of this privacy violations and all this BS we're going through, we'll add more to the series. But, you know, we got enough on our plate. But back to this. So, cute, beautiful little Noelle Rose. And um, she kind of looks a lot like me when I was little, you know. This is our beautiful little prototype. And I, I made this dress. It's fashioned in combination with the white 
remember these? They were big in what, the early 80s. I was a, a little young girl at the time. And the puffy sleeves, they're made out of polyester and they're real stretchy. And the bottom wasn't this fancy. It was just like, you know, like this. Well, it looks like the costumes that my my gals and my company usually dance in. I've worn it too in certain sections in the piece, but I wanted to make it not look so boring either because, you know, hey, this is a doll and you just can't put something boring on a, a doll like it looks like a smock, too much like a nightgown. So we, we dressed it up and uh, I had some And then we've had five choppers tonight. We were watching a Trump rally video in Wildwood. I'll get to that. And uh, yeah, we have it on recording because the security cam was running while we were watching the video. Nice, huh? Anyway, uh, isn't she cute? We love her. I love her. She's amazing. Um, so now I misspoke and I said boys. L look guys, uh, this book here, there's a lot of characters in this book that have boys, male role models and role, uh, what do you want to say, uh, you know, uh, good societal figures that are men and, and an evil one too, and I'll get to that in a minute, but we wanted to make this also for boys as well. And how do you do that when you've got a girl on the cover like this and make it appropriate? It's hard. Um, so, you know, we might redo the covers at some point. We're really, because I'm a girl, it's being focused towards girls, but we have really great young male role models and older role models that are men. And we have her, her little friends, the dolls are, and toys are all going to be made for her. And, uh, yeah. I'm scattered. I am so groggy. I'm so tired. I'm usually really, you know with it. I think that's chopper number six. Sometimes they are legitimately supposed to be here and then other times they're just, you know, I don't know what they're trying to do, what remind us that they're watching us. Whatever. It could actually be a crime being taken place this time. So hopefully they're legitimately there and not trying to harass us or to scare us or whatever. Uh, what was I saying? Okay, so we have the boy dolls coming out too. Now we want to be careful because the subject matter is sexual child abuse. But, you know, why are we coddling our children? Why are we not really telling them about it? A lot of times when I've performed the Red Ribbons dance and, um... This is on one of our old, uh, older videos here. Let me show you. You know, Red Ribbons, the disc, the DVD. Um, we don't sell other people's dances that participated in this concert. We just, we just sell ours. Uh, if, if people were in this and they want copies, that obviously they'll get the full thing intact, but for us, and we have, uh, we replaced some music because we didn't own the rights to resell the music and uh, my husband just rescored it. But we need to be careful. We want to be very, very smart with all of this and not put it in such a way that A, it makes it to where it creates a problem, which it doesn't. I'm not saying it does. But we also don't want to, uh, you know, represent it wrong. We don't want to make it too fanciful. So what we did with this, which I think is pretty ingenious, we took this and we wrote it in different versions so that even young adults and older adults, regular adults, enjoy the kids' versions too. It's very engrossing. I, I read it and I'm like, oh my god, did I write this? Yes, I did. But Sometimes I just distance myself so much and I have so much going on. It's like, oh wow, this is really great. <laughs> we wrote different versions of this, which um, are available, I think, on our website or all over the place. And, uh, oh guys, if you see that we're ranking very low in the search engine for red ribbons, our books, uh, dances, and all this, let us know because something really strange is happening. We have video of where we're typing in a search for 
um, we tried, typed in Trump site and DonaldJTrump.com was supposed to come up and it had been for a long time under those search terms and then for like a day and a half it wasn't there and I'm like, hmm, which search engines is it? And it was notoriously Google or Google related ones and I thought, okay, you know, that that's not cool. And so we have it on video of us searching and then it was always found and then searching it wasn't. And then again, searching, now it's back to normal. And you know, the, at, on the device, probably hearing us saying all this stuff. So they, they fixed that real quick. You know, they used to travel only either on Victory or Burbank or on Oxnard. And then for two years, I was like, I can't get any work done because of all this interruption. You know how I speak in hyperbole, but I was able to get plenty of work done, but for two years, nothing. Nothing traveled on Oxnard, sirens and everything. They were redirected and now they're always here. It's like, that's just funny. Okay, <laughs> my kind word for what I really want to say. All right, uh, good Lord, I'm so distracted. Uh, here we go. This is the newer cover for Dance Warrior Red Ribbons Volume 2, the adult version. Kid version, follow me here. The kid version, little kids, wee little kids. Like, uh, I would say appropriately, you know, six to, to eight-ish. You know, you can even, like I said, adults enjoy these. But this is the real adult version, and it doesn't have everything in here. This, see, this is the allegorical tale going way back, and this is the real tale. Do you see? He changed it up for the age appropriateness. And uh, we love both versions. And then there's one in the middle, which is very much akin to, without copying at all, uh, you know, Tolkien, you know, how in depth he was with his world. It, it's a masterpiece, right? So we tried to use that as a guide inspiration. The story is completely different. It's not even written in the same voice or style. It's written in my voice and my style, which is, I don't know what you want to call it. <laughs> it's very graphic at times, but uh, that is more age appropriate for the, the older teens or, or the young adults. And. Um, yeah, we already started uh, filming. Did you know that? We premiered a portion of it, and it's it's going to be an amazing, amazing film. And we're going to have several versions of that too. Why? Because we don't want to leave anybody out. And and here's the thing. Let me get back to this whole thing about age appropriateness and what not. That's related to that. I have had parents take purposely and intentionally take. Uh, their kids to go see this, you know, this, this version of it, the adult version. And they were so amazed. The children were there, prefaced. We, we don't really show anything terrible or bad. It's just intense. And intensity can kind of, you know, get into kids' hearts and brains and they're like, whoa, too much. So you have to know your children. And we always put a clause. It's like, we won't turn anybody away. But, you know, we do recommend at least 10 years and older. But we've had kids younger. And they came up to me. They understood it, sometimes even better than the adults. And everybody was happy. They were so grateful and thankful. And there's nothing not to like about it. There's nothing... It, there's nothing even offensive. You want to be offended, be offended at the fact that I had to write and perform and choreograph and do this in the first place because there's little girls and boys who are being sexually molested, trafficked, you name it. The whole thing is related and it's horrible. So, you know, don't get mad at the messenger. Get mad at the fact that this is even having to be done, you know? Um, and then hop on our side and help us vanquish the whole thing. You know, even if that is 
done away with. Let's just say that, that nobody, it's never going to happen, unfortunately, because this is a sinful world. But let's just say that uh, child molestation is never to be done again, and we as human beings matured and don't have that sin nature in our hearts. Great. I'm still going to perform it. I'm so because it's something to remember where we came from. But about this adult version, we you know we haven't had a, a problem. But plus, there's a disclaimer, and it would be on the parents' own responsibility if a problem arose, not ours. But here you go, guys. This is amazing. So th that's me and my super hinge. It's not a back bend. I never meant it to be a back bend. A back bend has a curve. And, uh, you know, hopefully once my injuries are all healed up, I will be able to do all these great things over again. So, um, pretty amazing. And I can hold it. Look at that. That lower back flexibility. My issue was always, like, in here. But since I've had rehabilitation, who knew? Now we could just work on the pain. Like I, I'm not going to be able to sit here very long. And already it's like jarring my whole spine and my neck. Uh, Lord help me. Um, so anyway, guys, this is so important. It's an amazing thing to what we're doing and all the adversary that we've had along the way because people are, all right, I promise I wouldn't swear this video, but they are buttholes, major buttholes, and, uh, you know, it, it's big money. Unfortunately, I hate to say it, I address it somewhat in this book, too, in a very fanciful, creative way. Uh, you know, children are enslaved. It's not, look, here's the thing I don't like. I don't like how there are certain people in this world, and we're pretty sure that they're tied to the corporation that's harassing us and bothering us. You know, look, don't try to change the narrative of what trafficking is. It's the kids. Why? Because they can't speak up. They can't fight back. You have older teens and young adults to be trafficked. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. It's just not as common and frequent as the wrong narrative is trying to be placed upon it. Because they can fight back. They can talk. You know what I'm saying? And get these people in trouble. They're high risk. They take up more room, more food, more water. You see what I'm saying? There's a strong connection with kidnappings and, you know, all of this stuff. And we've been doing a lot of research on our end, too. We stand against all of this stuff. We are trying to get our voice heard more and more, and somebody's been trying to shut us down more and more because I've got a big mouth. And, you know, to hell with them. They're evil, obviously. So, you know, it explains why certain things have been happening to us. It explains why. You know, you're like, why is this happening? Why, 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 why? You know how that one video I made? So now I know why my mother was this, that way towards me. Now I understand. I know why now. I know why she was doing this. I, and then I understood my behavior and my whatever was going on. Very interesting. Um, so anyway, here here's the adult version, and um, this is a beautiful book cover. So this came out in uh, 2016. So we have a little issue with uh, Amazon, who once owned Create Space, and uh, we're going to deal with them too, because they didn't have the right uh, dates. And it was stalled. It was like, wait, didn't you submit it? Didn't you approve it? And you know, you go through the process and it's like, yeah, here's a screenshot. What did they do? So, and we're going to get it all ironed out. You know, we're hoping it's just a, a little uh, administrative error, but if it's anything more than that, they're, they're in trouble. So, I, I, you know, who knows why these people do this stuff. It's really ridiculous. But we had to fix the coloring of this cover. So the original cover had a different typeset here. And uh, it also, the coloring, we showed Lois and she's like, I like it. Do you like it? It, it was like a silvery, um, what do you call it? 
almost monochromatic and it was lovely it's legitimate but uh, I was like it's not what we intended so we have that version too but this is this is the one I really wanted and I think it's the one that really Lois wanted too for us and you can really see see I don't have orange hair I don't know where that came from I'm not saying in certain lights it never looked that way but I don't think so it's usually very if anything bright neon -y red which you know that it, it my hair is just very shiny because I put certain product in it and it uh, reflects the light especially on the stage it's really cool but anyway so this is the, the right coloring now and then let's get back to this dress thing here this is really cool look so you see I wanted to make it emulate it and then the same thing you know the dress Oh, it's you. I thought somebody was breaking in. I was. You're so funny. You should be my guest guest star tonight. <laughs> just dress just as you are. Right now. No, seriously. You would break the internet. <laughs> so, I what? I don't, I don't want to be responsible. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just call up Al Gore to fix it. Didn't he invent it? Well, yeah, that's why they call them algorithms. Oh, God! <laughs> I can't believe you said that. That's... All right. I don't know why that happened. Really, he would have broken the internet the way he was dressed. Or I should say the lack of being dressed. He'll kill me for that. Okay, um, <laughs> so guys, uh, what the hell? I, I don't even know what the hell I was saying. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, uh, we wanted to, uh, pay tribute to that and keep everything all in theme, but not exact. But, yeah, I mean, you can see. She loved the idea. Oop, there you go. I give credit to her properly. I said this is based on this, the infamous photo shoot. This really was an amazing day, guys. If you look on our YouTube, I I don't know if it's visible because something funny is going on with that too. Um, we had a whole bunch of links to our videos from the Facebook page that um, were on, what, what do you call it? Uh, you know, where you have to have the link in order to see it and it won't show up on the channel or the YouTube channel, right? I don't remember what that is called. But it's the viewership allowance. But you have a choice, public, private, or you need the link, whatever that is. <clears throat> and any time that we would revert it to public, uh, for some reason YouTube would change the upload date and said so this is a lie so we've been taking screenshots and uh, video to prove no this is the real upload date just in case we have to go to court for something you know but uh, yeah so we haven't been putting everything on public because we did that with a few of them and I'm like that's not what we intended and we bitched out Google for that too it's like you want to fix that because that's not true. Or even if it was on public and then we put it on private, if we put it back on public, the same glitch happened. And I, I don't know. I'll be nice and say it's a glitch, but if we find it's something else, then, you know, they, they gotta fix it. But anyway, yeah. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about at this point. I am so tired still, very groggy. Um. Book one in the Dance Warriors series. See that? And my hair is like a weird copper penny red here. And, uh, you know, I've, I've had it that color, but it wasn't that color for this shoot. And I know that because we had our own and going at the time, so I don't know why. Uh, 
colorization is so strange. You do something in CMYK versus RGB. Everybody's cameras calibrated differently. So, you know, now we're having to go through everything and say, hey, look, we want my persona and image to present it this way. And I have really bright red hair and I like it that way. And uh, we kind of think we figured out, you notice I'm wearing purple, right? We kind of figured out uh, why that was happening. And uh, I could tell you a little bit, but it, it's pretty much trying to not have me be associated with a certain character. But you know what, too bad. It doesn't matter, red is red is red. <laughs> And no, I really don't want to build a snowman. I'm sorry. My heart breaks over that whole thing. And at this point, everybody knows why, too. It's very disturbing if you ask me. So we have a lot to share with you about all of that, too. And photos and videos and all these, sorry, all these things, my little tray where I keep all my stuff, right? Um, we have all these things that we want to share with you guys. And uh, I'm going to do another video really quickly after this one. I need to stretch out a little bit. I'm very antsy. I can't, this is, I'm on a cushion and we're trying all different things and it's just, I'm still injured. I hate it. <laughs> okay, so that's just a weird, big, mess of a plot. <laughs> I know, hey, I know when I'm not on, you know, what I'm saying as a performer or as somebody doing these videos. I'm so scattered. I hate when I get like this, but I, I don't know. I'm just not sleeping right, so. Anyway, go buy all this stuff. Support us. What supports us supports all the kids, and we are trying our darndest to get our voice out there and get our programs into more and more places. So get this. We were turned down. I won't say the name this time. I'll be nice, but next time I will. And it took them apparently two years to address one of our submissions for proposal and it was for you know a program and I was like okay it's obvious that nobody in this area really wants this stuff done unless they are controlling the people doing it so in other words if they took away my red ribbons and everything it stands for and got me out of the picture and put it on somebody else they would con this corporation would own it and own that person and be able to monitor it and control them so they didn't say anything wrong or there's no direct connection, you know, because my story is so right on and real and raw, it may point to things that certain people might not want pointed because, hey, I told you about what I thought about the trafficking before. Hey, you're here. You're clothed. Come and say hello to my friends. <laughs>